Hello everyone, Aaron's with the Cars here for another review for the 12 Days of Christmas, and today we are going to take a look at Louise Nash. Now this version does come with the collector card, which I am happy that I was able to get her with the collector card. But anyways, let's just go ahead and open her up because I am so happy to finally have Louise Nash in my collection. Let's get on with opening her up, shall we? Alright, uh, there's the collector card, and here is Louise Nash. Man, I already love her. <laughs> I am in love with this car already. Okay, yeah, I, I love her so much. <laughs> I, I love Louise Nash. Sorry, but she is amazing. Alright, now let's look, uh, look, take a look at the collector card. So I can see it says Thomasville Speedway, and this looks like something that you would definitely see in Thomasville Speedway. It says home of ninety four Louise Nash. Uh, let's see races every weekend, fastest racers every Sunday. Uh, it says right here, Southern Gasoline Gold, something like that. I don't know what that's. Something to do with mo moonshine. I don't know, but it does come with this little stand, so you could basically just place it right there. Now, as the camera focuses, come on. Focus. Okay, there's one thing I don't like about her, but I will get on with that whenever I review her. But anyways, now this could just be a problem with my car, but oh well. So anyways, as you can see, it says, it says right there on the side, it says, uh, I can't tell what that says on the side. Does anybody know what that says on the side? Too small. Focus. It says words right there. Um, Alabama? I can't tell. Am. There's an A M B. Ambassador? <laughs> I, I don't know what this says. But it says, uh, Nash on the back right here. It says Nash. Some of these letterings I can't tell because they're in cursive and silver. So, yeah. As you can see, it has like a little trunk right here because they did run moonshine back in the day. So, that's why he, uh, there's this big trunk. That's why a lot of these cars had trunks because they stored moonshine. See, it has like some of the white wall tires right here. See, it kind of covers up the wheels, which is what they did with Duck Hudson right here. See how like covered up the wheels right here. Now they do have, a, oh, and also it says Louise Nash on the roof. There is a young version, or a heyday version, I guess you could call it. It's basically just brighter colors. And I really do like this car, just saying. There's the headlights. And I believe she is a Hudson Hornet. So I will compare her with the Hudson Hornet. There's the back and the license plate. It says First Lady, which is must represent. Uh, the first lady in racing. She was the first lady racer. Based off a real, actual racer. Uh, Louise. But yeah, there's the front. And here's the base. The base is kind of cool, actually. How it like, dips down right here. It's really cool how it's made. really do like this car right here. Now let me compare him. Or, <laughs> compare her with the... Doc Hudson, Fabulous is a horn. So you can see some similarities in the model for sure. See some simulator, so sim blah, blah, blah. some similarities. Uh, but of course, this right here just dips down, that goes down. This just kind of all comes down together. So there is some differences, but they are definitely very similar. Wish this was chrome so that they would kind of match a little bit. But yeah, that's the only negative negativity with this. But also, if you look at the eyes. See how, like, uh, the eyes aren't fully white? Because the paint is kind of showing through this light color. Um, well, this one, you know, of course, Buck isn't. And, uh, let me just grab a random car, um, Sally. So you see. Paint doesn't really usually show through, so this is somewhat interesting. I don't think this has ever happened before. That or I just got an error or something like that. But yeah, she definitely does look nice, and she's one of my favorites. Next to, uh, River Scott and Junior Moon, which I haven't opened yet, but I'm about to. Uh, so, yeah, here is, uh, Louise Nash next to Heyday Smokey and, uh, Doc Hudson. 
they all look nice together. But now, let's kind of add in this version of Smokey. And let's add in, why not, this version of McQueen. And, uh, let's add Cruz right here on the side. You know, let's get the two lady racers right here. Definitely, they they really do all look nice together. But, uh, yeah, by the way, I did paint those in the back, as you can see. Like the silver trains. I told you I will one day. Um, but yeah, so, hope, uh, yeah, something else about her, really. Uh, the top's pink. This is kind of a tannish color. Uh, yeah, there's the base. Man, Mattel, Disney, Pixar, 155 Scale Diecast. And yeah, that's basically it for Louise Nash. Can I get this in the background? And I hope you enjoyed this review, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.